guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about a very exciting unboxing. We are about to unbox either the Fendi First in the Raffia or the Fendi Mini Baguette in the Denim. I'm so excited. I haven't seen this bag. They shipped it from the Fendi store. It's in this box and we're just gonna do it all together. And let me just say, I've read every Instagram post, comment, every Instagram story, every YouTube comment, and it helped me so much. Okay, it's been sitting in my closet for the last day. Oh, look at this. This is one of the things I love about shopping at my Fendi Boutique because you get this beautiful experience just like as if I'm shopping in the store. Look at that. I love it. It's so pretty. Guys, I can't. I'm very excited. because <laughs> this is like ridiculous <laughs> I haven't been this excited in a while for a bag oh my god it's so good <laughs> oh my god yes <laughs> the Fendi first it's beautiful I love it it's the perfect summer bag and it goes perfectly with my aesthetic and all the bags in my collection. Let's just take a moment and take in this beauty. Wow, this is gorgeous. Craftsmanship on this one. It's brand spanking new and it's just an amazing bag. Thank you, Brandon, for helping me with this bag, um, but I, I love this one. You know, look at this leather detailing here, the tan. You know, I'm obsessed with the tan trim. Could not talk enough about the tan trim with this raffia. It's just like, it's like a very neutral on neutral vibe and totally goes with like an outfit I'm wearing today. And I love the clutch. Oh man, look at the inside. Yes, look at that. And the cutest tan leather strap. This to me is the perfect Fendi first for me. I was very much on the fence when it first came out and I wasn't exactly a fan of the smooth leather and it slowly grown on me and I was hoping over time they would add more styles, colors, obviously in the neutral shades and it wasn't until this combination that I was like, this really just looks me, I can't help but obsess over this bag. <laughs> so, and you know, I, um, I've been getting a lot into like ready to wear and fashion pieces. And of course I keep seeing a lot of these cute raffia bags that all the women will pair with their outfits. And it's like, for my aesthetic, my style, I think, that having this bag is perfect. And I'll be wearing this to a lot of my dinners, um, just going out. I'm really in love. I love how unique the shape is. And I think because I am such a Fendi fan, whether or not the Fendi first goes out of style or not, even though they say at Fendi that this is more of an iconic style for them, that this is something that I just, think it's almost like a piece of art too, this shape and it's beautifully made. Yes. So to go back and just to give you a little bit of the crazy bag dilemma and during the time when I asked you guys originally, so I had the denim. I was first up um, part of the pre-sale process, Brandon hand me down for the denim bag and it had that awesome price point. It was 
perfect casual bag. You know, probably go with this outfit as well. But I, you know, the more I thought about it, I got your guys' feedback and I was seeing all of the pictures coming out and to me, I just couldn't get this one out of my mind. And and I also will say that there was some helpful comments too you guys had. There was one that where the Fendi baguette looked busy and I could see it after that. And I was like, that makes sense to me. I'm really excited about this shape with the unique material. So, you know, I, I'm obsessed about my tweed Chanel 19. I've got my mirror baguette with that beautiful, um, all the mirrors and this is like another unique bag. I just really love having these unique shapes and unique bags in my collection at this point. I know Lisa, you called this. I think it totally has your name written all over this. <laughs> I think in your videos did help me. So I really do thank you. And Caleb, thank you for hearing my obsessions. And it did throw me when we went shopping in our shopping vlog the other weekend that to try on that YSL, I still think that YSL is an amazing bag. It's more of a classic shape. I'll make sure to add a picture of it for y'all. But it's when I think about the quality of the YSL and I compare it to the Fendi, I personally think that the Fendi one is is up there and definitely this is probably more me. But that bag is also twenty six fifty, I wanna say. So it's actually high up there that I was not exactly a fan of. So I was like, if you just spend a couple hundred more, you can get this beautiful Fendi first and it was, and I do not have this shape. Kind of obsessed with shapes and unique shapes in this collection of mine. Guys, let me just quickly style it for you guys. Just see, how does it look on my petite body? I'm 5'2 in size. I do like the shoulder length. I think that's super cute. I'll be honest, I probably won't really wear this as like a cross body. It's nice to have the option, certainly, but I'll mainly use this as more of a clutch style. So you guys picked this handbag and I really can't thank you guys enough. I'm in love with this. There's just so much bag excitement with this purchase. But I will say, I think we picked the right one. Certainly, it's a beauty. And I do say, I don't think I could have went wrong with either one, but I think this one might edge out a little bit more. Anyways, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, guys.